To be honest, in the past, I was not a confident person as I pretended to be. Few incidents made me realize that confidence is a hidden trait, which it makes presence when you least expect. Good afternoon, fellow postmasters and my dear guests. I am going to take you through a small journey which I had experienced. It was a hot summer of 2005 when I embarked on my journey to Japan for an agriculture training. I was traveling for the first time by air. I am new, new to the procedure at the airport. Though I was feeling utterly nervous, I smiled at everybody who came to see me off. And I confidently walked towards the check-in counter with my travel company. And I was secretly hoping that my travel company would guide me throughout my journey. To tell you the truth, he was totally opposite what he claimed to be. He was very tense through immigration and the check-in process. At that moment, I realized that I had the resources within me to handle the situations which I have had no prior experience. The confidence can survive the unknowns was within me. Halfway through the journey, we parted ways. Since my destination was Fukuoka, that was in west part of Japan, and my companion was southern part of Japan. When I landed at Fukuoka, I claimed my baggage. I cleared customs and claimed my baggage. At that moment, it hit me for the first time that where well, I'm in a country where I didn't know the language, where I didn't know anyone. As my eyes were nervously scanning the arrival lobby, I saw a cute, short Japanese lady with a placard which my name was written. Oh, I got relaxed. And I walked towards her and said, Good morning. And she gave me a Japanese courtesy. Oh, hi, I'm a grand <laughs> that means good morning. And that moment, I didn't know that. Even though I just simply got right. And I moved to exit. And she stopped me with her hand. And she was explaining something that I couldn't. <coughs> Only I could make out Myanmar, Myanmar, Myanmar. So I assumed that she was waiting for someone from Myanmar also. <laughs> so I waited. After some time, I was introduced to Myanmar Bay. He was my co trainer <coughs> During the drive to the training center from the airport, Myanmar guy was trying to impress the Japanese lady with his incomplete Japanese. <coughs> I couldn't even understand a single conversation of them. I got tensed. Even though I was scared, I enjoyed the beauty of Japan, which is my first time in my life. Once we reached the training center, <coughs> my teacher showed my room. Again, she was explaining something. Again, I was lost. I couldn't follow. Only again, I make out one word, Philippines. Then I assumed that my roommate would be a Philippines. After evening, my roommate came. <coughs> I relieved. She spoke English. And she was illiterate like me in Japanese. That gave me <laughs> immense pleasure. <laughs> Soon after, all my co trainees had reached from different countries. Dinner turned out a big task. We had to have rice with two We had to have. Where we have four fingers, we had to have two sticks. But I had the rice with two sticks because I had to survive. The another ultimate task was waiting. After the dinner, that was nothing but taking bath. As per the training of the culture, all the ladies, all the girls have to take bath together with the ladies instructor. That too in a strange place. I couldn't think about that. I was about to cry because
because there was no compromise on that. But I didn't cry. Then I relaxed. Then I just took a deep breath. Then suddenly a thought came to my mind, like here there is no differentiation between us. We all are from different countries, different cultures. Even we are in different colors. Here we all are human beings to support each other. They are all are from very far from their mother country. Then I obey my teacher. That means I do not. Next three months were very tough trying to cope up with the language, culture, and food habit and other. But in spite of all these difficulties, I learned to respect the Japanese culture, dedication, and I mastered the Japanese language. At the end of the third month, I participated in a Japanese speech contest and won. To my surprise, I was able to accomplish all these minor victories by motivating myself saying that I can do it, I can. Hence, I believe, I strongly believe, self-motivation is highly essential for Sarah. Thank you.